Hi, Micha. You're back from Nuremberg. You was at the trade fair SBS. And there were a lot of new stuff, new technologies, new discussions in the market. What is new there? Yeah. Hi, Axel. The SPS is a trade fair for smart production solution, hence the name. And if you want to know about something or looking for a business partner who has something to do with the whole industrial IoT smart factory topic, then this is the trade fair for you. News was so far that the whole AI topic was there, of course, on the trade fair that could not be overlooked, actually, because there was predictive maintenance and, you know, this was basically the AI topic. Yeah, mainly the But, learning stuff, machine learning. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So no generative images, of course. I mean, machine learning and AI, there's lots of overlaps, actually. But less neural nets, rather machine learning. That's true. And I was actually focusing more on the HMI perspective because I'm HMI programmer, front-end programmer, and okay, I can also do something with the back-end, but mostly I do front-end programming with Qt and other frameworks. My strategy was if I see a touch panel, I go to the booth and just talk to the people. And for me, it was quite surprising that in this production solutions area that lots of people more and more people are using the web browser. Let's say frameworks like Slint or Qt, they have less relevance in this field because it has technical reasons mostly and economical reasons. Why economic? Not in the general economics, but for the costs of the equipment in the end and the licenses. You have technically for a production system that costs several millions. So you can use any industrial PC That's like a normal PC and that has enough performance to show a web browser and performance is not a big issue actually. And the web is an open technology and you don't have to pay licenses. You have lots of designers around. There were companies who specialized in only doing web UI. There's also pre-built web UIs where you just click together your components, no code solutions, everything is there. So basically, that's why I see more and more web UIs in the end. And for the other stuff, let's say if it's not web, the manufacturers of production systems, they are also Windows fans. You see it mostly when you see Backhoff, they are Windows only company, for instance, and then they are using .NET for the UI. And then there's some relevance for Qt, for instance. I saw one of few companies where they did QML, but it's very rarely. And it would become more relevant For instance, if you have a device that has to boot up fast, you know, in several seconds, then it becomes interesting because then you can't use a web browser anymore. Then, then it's going to be difficult. But the rest, let's would say 5% is cute or slint in the end. The rest is web and .NET. Yeah. Okay. Who was present? Which companies? Yeah. Okay. The main exhibitioner is usually Siemens because they have also a big site in that area near yeah, Erlang and they have an entire exhibition hall just for themselves. They show all kinds of stuff from machines to milling machines, controllers for milling machines, AI stuff, IoT platform, everything they have basically. That's one of the main exhibitioner. And the other one, Siemens competitor actually is Beckhoff. So if you have an SPS unit, then you can choose with the field pass system, then you can choose between Beckhoff and Siemens basically. And maybe the booth from Beckhoff is a bit smaller, but it's still quite big. I was a bit lost when I was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, those are the two main exhibitioners. And then there's a few others, but I focus mostly on the medium-sized companies actually. Yeah. Is the SPS a large or medium-sized trade fair? Is it an international trade fair? It has 1,000 exhibitioners. It is mostly focused on the German market, or at least middle European market. They have a branch in Italy as well. There's also an SPS Italy, and that's why you had also quite a lot of Italian exhibitioners. I saw lots of Chinese exhibitioners and some from India as well, some from England, from Ireland. So it's also quite international, but I would say at least half is German, at least half, even if not even two thirds. I, I would have to check. Yeah. Have you noticed any trend? 
Brand, the hype topic, okay, if you can put somewhere AI on the product, then of course, somebody will do that. But the general trend from HMI perspective, so what I saw, that was my research that is going more towards the web browser. That's the main trend I saw that at least for production system that more people are using the web browser. Yes. That's okay. the main trend. Fine. I think enough for today and we will yeah. continue this talk and maybe dive deeper into why using a browser or not. And yes, this is an interesting discussion, but we will do that the next time. So thank yes. you very much for today and bye-bye. Bye-bye.